This is a portrait of St. John the Evangelist by Franz Hals. Now, in this painting, Franz Hals did a very good job of making the biblical figure, a very holy figure, seem very realistic. Look at how he's looking up into the light for divine guidance from God as he is working on his book right here, writing with his feather pen. He's dressed in the regular apostle robes with purple which is normally a symbol of royalty, so he looks like he could be very well, he could be very, he could be very um, fortunate in the money aspect, along with these red robes around them. Here he is putting his hand over his heart as he's reading, almost as if he's praying to God as he's, as he's writing this book, the uh, book of Revelation, the book, the Bible stories. St. John has a rosy, cherubish blush on his cheek as he, he looks very divine in this painting. His hair is going down behind him and it looks, it looks very lifelike even though this is a fantasy painting based on religion. Normally you wouldn't expect that so the, uh, the painter, Frans Hals, did a very very good job on this. Frans Hals is a Dutch painter also during the 15 and 1600s. He was known for many paintings of this sort. This is a painting of Conradus Vietor, also by Franz Hals. Hals. Now this painting, now this man, Conradus, was known for being a prolific writer and reader. Here he is reading his book as if he's just finished his thumb, just brushing the edge of it. Uh, his face is very well done, very well detailed. His beard, his ruffled neck, his ruffled collar on his coat. You see his French-like hat along with his... He looks very old in this picture, very, very aged. His hair is graying. The background, of course, is drab as normal for portraits as they give more emphasis on the portraitee, the one who is being painted. Now, as you can see here, his face is well done. It's got very well done brush strokes and the colors look realistic. Now this book he's reading, it's very old, it's very long looking, so it emphasizes the fact that Conrad was a big influence in the literary world as it looks like he's just finished this large tome. His hands are clasped underneath it while his thumb looks like it's just closed the book after finishing. Franz Hans was known for many portraits and this is only one of them.